Hello and welcome to the program. I'm Ben Cleary. On today's program, we're going to talk about updating your tax software and how important it is to keep your software updated. My guest today is Megan Caldwell. Megan's with our training department here at CCH Small Firm Services. Megan, good to have you with us. Good to be here. Let's talk about updating our software. I know it's uh, it, right now with the, the fiscal cliff issue and the fact that forms are being delayed and everything's happening, updates are even more important than ever right now. Right. Um, the IRS is going to be sending out more and more forms as we go as those different laws become available and uh, get approved. The calculations are going to change. So we're going to need to send those forms down to the customers and we want everyone to make sure that they have the most up-to-date forms, most up-to-date calculations before they send those returns in. And plus sometimes, you know, software being software, there's uh, little glitches and little things that will happen, the little fixes that are put into updates. So always make sure you've got the latest version of the software. Right. You want to make sure that you are up to date on everything. If we find anything that happens to be slowing the program down or anything that uh, we get a suggestion for, we may put those in depending on you know the priorities and things and when we're able. So you want to make sure that both the program and your forms are as up to date as possible. Sounds great. If you would, take us into the software and uh, show us how to do an update. Okay, let's go. For ATX 2012, the updates have actually been put inside the program. You no longer have to go out to the Customer Solutions Center or anywhere else to update. And you don't have those CDs that you need to install updates from either. If you notice, the updates icon has changed. And the first thing I want to point out is the color. Right now, mine is green. That lets you know that there are no updates, either for the program or for the forms available right now. If there were any updates available, then this icon would be red uh, to let you know to stop and go update. So all you'd have to do is click the button, hit continue, and you'll see the update progress. Notice there were no program updates, there were no forms. If there were, it would show you how many were installed. The other thing I want to mention though is you're not going to have to do that too often because Upon installing the program, it's already set. I'm just going to go into the preferences and go to updates. You'll see a check mark in both the update program and update forms on startup. So as soon as you open ATX, you'll see that update progress um, open first and it'll go through and check for anything. So the only time you're going to see the updates button change to red is if you've been in the program for a while and something was updated after you'd already started the program. So just keep an eye out for that color change, but for the most part, the program is going to update itself for you, which is a really nice feature this year. All right, Megan, thanks so much. Always be sure you have the latest version of the software because that way you've got all the latest forms, you've got all the latest information, you've got everything you need right there. That's right. All right, Megan, thank you so much. Not a problem. We thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.